Bernice. I'm joined here today with a special guest and interview of Jamela Ellis, owner and CEO of Curl Theory Salon located in Bowie, Maryland. Hi. Hi okay, so today we are sitting down. We're talking everything from curls to natural hair, transition, motherhood, career, entrepreneurship, and most importantly, the story behind Curl Theory. Okay, so I'm looking at the success of your salon, mm -hmm. but most importantly, you start started a new product line yes, too. Yes. So are you a stylist? No. No. So how does somebody who is a lawyer by trade, mm -hmm. no formal training in actually being a hairstylist, mm -hmm. start a business mm -hmm. in the hair industry? So what I think is true for um, anyone who is an entrepreneur at heart mm -hmm. is that you have to first have a serious passion to deliver exceptional service in the business that you want to enter into. I think that's first. Second is resources and, you know, a network and all of the things to facilitate it and, you know, the ability to commit to the business and the sacrifices, mm -hmm. but more than anything else, having the passion to do something differently and to deliver it in a way that people haven't, I think is what separates businesses mm -hmm. and, and is mm -hmm. the differentiating factor. So um, the way we do it here is different. Um, I'm not a stylist, but I designed our in-house training curriculum, mm -hmm. um, which comes from research and right. understanding of textured hair care. Right. Um, you know what's important uh, from a customer service standpoint. Mm -hmm. Those are things that aren't um, that don't have anything to do with a cosmetology degree. Um, I designed the in-house training program, and then our all of what we do related to the service delivery process. So you've been a guest here, and yeah. you know that. The first thing we do is sit down and have a thorough consultation yep. with you. We talk yep. about your hair history, your product usage, uh, goals, challenges, those sorts of things. We give you information on your porosity, and we do that by paying attention to absorption rates at the bowl. Correct. And then we customize the products we use based on what your hair is saying to us. Very true. None of that has to do with a cosmetology degree. It mm -hmm. has everything to do with knowing what's important to us as textured hair consumers. Mm -hmm. And there was a lack and there was a need for that. Tell me more about your product line here. So the first thing I'm gonna say is that curl theory means what works for you, mm. right? Everyone has their own curl theory. So what works for Great you point. may or may not work for me. Great point. That said, there is a general suggestion there we go. to use things, but I embrace all approaches. I encourage everybody to play around, mm -hmm. experiment, and find what works for them. I mean, that's how we are where we are today. That, now that said, here's what makes sense. Um, we are starting with the co-wash, the scalp refreshing conditioner wash. I love this so much because of the peppermint and the menthol, okay? Um, those are naturally cleansing antiseptic properties, um, but then at the same time there are a host of moisturizing properties in here mm. as well. So what you're going to feel when you use this is a nice mild tingling that mm -hmm. you know is cleansing your scalp but not stripping it of uh, moisture that should stay. That's okay. exactly, I used it this morning on my hair. <laughs> I did a quick washing go because I was yes. like, I can't go to Curl Theory Salon Maybe without having to like, I can't. Like, that's like when I tell my son, you know, right. he's going to a high school for a workout. I'm like, you can't wear a, a competitor's, you know, thing. So I did my hair in all Thank Curl you. Theory products today. <laughs> that co-wash. Yeah. OMG, it does exactly what you said, but the most yep. important thing to me is I'm a like scents and smells. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is clean yep. and you get that peppermint and mm -hmm. it's really refreshing when the steam is going yeah. in the shower too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent job yes. on that. Yep. So that that's the purpose of this. And of course we co-wash when we don't need a full shampoo. Correct. Um, but we need our scalp to be clean and maybe we just want to remove product yep. that's in there. Not that it's dirty or you know, like in a product buildup situation, mm -hmm. but you just need to mm -hmm. refresh and reset. Mm -hmm. So that's what this is for. 
we must deep condition. We know that as as you know, um, a textured hair community, <laughs> deep conditioning <laughs> is critical. And we get lazy, and we, especially years into yes. I remember when I used to deep condition every week, every two weeks. Okay. Uh, do you do that now? <laughs> uh, but, but now, <laughs> but now you have now, this. Like, I'm sure you have because you had to do a lot of testing. Oh, I'm sure yeah, with so your own product. What I love about our deep conditioner is that um, the shea butter and the jojoba oil together make it very, very rich. Um, mm. You know, deeply penetrating. Yes. Please, please do. Um, and so the key with this, with most products, is add water. You know, we mm. tend to like take a huge glob and do all of that. Mm. A little goes a long way. Add a little bit, add water, and then detangle because it'll last longer. I'm and glad you said that. Yeah. I am like, <laughs> okay, and I'm, I go yes. through products like mm -hmm. nobody's business. But when they're when they're really rich and dense like this, um, you don't have to do. So that. it's true. It's true. A little. It's true. A little goes a long way. <laughs> you hear that? If you're look natural hair community, a little goes a long way. If it's water, made the if right it's way. made the right way. <laughs> add water before you add more product. I promise you. Promise. Hair tip. Yes. Okay, then we have the leave-in miracle worker. I am a huge believer in leave-ins okay. and the importance of leave-ins because through my transitioning and especially after I big chopped and even mm -hmm. today when I do wash and goes, all I do is a leave-in and a gel, right? And then okay. after it's dry, I will seal with oil. Okay. That's just my preferred method. Okay. So for me, having a, a, a really serious moisture foundation is critical. That's what this provides. Yay, yes. I did use the leave-in mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. um, so today I used everything but the deep conditioner. Okay. This leave-in is mm -hmm. exactly like you described mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I had, I applied it to soak in wet hair yeah. while I was in the shower. Exactly and right. then I took it and I just, you know, Know, work the fingers mm -hmm. through it and, and easy 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 perfect. detangling yep. but so with detangling I just got really excited because your co-wash mm -hmm. I actually detangled with this mm -hmm. prior to using the leave-in mm -hmm. and this I would that I was really impressed with yeah. that I, I just had a wide good, tooth good, good. comb mm -hmm. sectioned it out and it was easy mm -hmm. easy breezy so about time mm -hmm. I got here with the leave-in, it was just rolling Absolutely. right in, and the slip, I love slip, yes. so that was amazing. We have to have slip. Now, the thing about this gel is that it is also aloe vera based. Um, it's got enough weight to give definition to your curls, if that's your priority. But some of us, like you, like to make it big and full mm -hmm. and give the lived-in look, that's okay too. Yes. You put in your leave-in, you put in your gel, dry it however you like and you're ready to roll um you should be able to get multiple days out of that too this so to you. yes so when i'm trying out products yes oh i'm so excited <laughs> so when i'm trying out products what how i determine if a product works for me is the number of days i can go without refreshing yes. my hair and when I say refreshing I'm not even talking like water or mm -hmm. moisture I like to go at least two days mm -hmm. of where I tie it up in a scarf mm -hmm. I should be able to use my fingers apply with oil yep. fluff it out fluff it out oh, and wow. then about day three is when I should be able to apply water yes. and then go through a refreshing mm -hmm. process when it's time to refresh you refresh with water. You should not mm. need to add more product, mm. especially when you get to the multi-style. Mm. What makes it so versatile is the fact that it's got one of my all-time favorite ingredients, which is castor oil. Um, it's mm. medicinal. Mm -hmm. It goes back, mm -hmm. you know, centuries. And I centuries. love castor oil. I love castor oil, and I love shea. Those my hair, well, not I like my hair responds yes. really well to yes. those two. You know, some people think, "Whoa, is it too heavy?" It's just about how much you use. Yeah, but the castor oil. Oil, the shea butter there's uh, mango seed butter in here I mean you name it this is like an all-star uh, cream mm. you know say you don't wash for two weeks when you wash it your your strands will still feel coated okay that's how potent it is okay. so. before we go where can we find curl theory products okay is there like where? Yes, so <laughs> uh, we have it in the salon here at Curl Theory. Um, of course, you can also buy it on the website. And beginning March 10th of this year, 
You can get it at Target. Ooh, curl theories at Target, you guys. <laughs> that is Wow, congratulations. Thanks. Thank you for taking the time to explain your beautiful Curl Theory product line. Absolutely. I could tell you took your time. I could tell that this is for us because you're another textured beauty curl friend and I can't wait to continue experimenting. Hey Curl Friends, thanks for watching part one of Natural Talk with Curl Theory. Don't forget to stay tuned for part two, where we're having a natural conversation on motherhood, entrepreneurship, and living your dream. And lastly, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and like the video. Until next time, keep being naturally you.